Hello, I'm going to show you how to use three free tools to set up text message marketing. Um, there's going to be three things that you need to sign up for. One is Zapier. Uh, some people call it Zapier. I asked the folks there how to pronounce it, and it's Zapier, like happier. Uh, good way to remember that. So Zapier is one that you'll sign up for. The other one is ClickSend. So you can just create an account there. It doesn't cost you anything to create an account. Uh, there's also a link in the previous section um, of this and type form will be the other thing that you want to create an account for that's free to create as well so all these are free um, you can upgrade zapier if you want to and it does some more stuff for you but if that's all you're, if this is all you're using it for um, that's fine uh, it's a crazy useful tool we ended up we've ended up using it more and more over time to help save us time and keeping track of things. So um, click send is also free to sign up for, but you have to pay to send text messages. They are very inexpensive to send, especially if you don't have a gigantic list of people. If it's just a small list, um, it's not very expensive at all. And um, type form is free. There are some premium features that you can sign up for, but you don't need to do those yet to get started. Um, so what you're going to do first is you're going to go to type form and you're going to create a form. I've already done that in here. Um, that is simply a welcome message. You want to collect, collect a person's email address and their, uh, cell phone number. So that's it. The welcome message probably want to tell people why they would want to sign up for this. Um, there's a lot of options for each thing, but in this demo, I'm using the bare basic minimum of what we have here. Um, so I'm going to click view so we can actually see what that form looks like. Type form is also kind of pretty um, and it operates beautifully. So um, I'm going to actually walk through one of these and fill this out. And what's my cell phone number? There we go. We're hitting OK on that. And we are submitting it. So there we go. All done. And now if we go back to type form and we look at the results, we should be able to see, yeah, we've had one response, um, and it tracks all that number, all that info in there. Click send. We're going to want to make sure that we set up a new, um, as you get that set up, you're going to want to make sure that you set up a, a specific list. So if we go to contacts, we're going to create a new contact list. We're going to give it a name, SMS test. So I'll just call it that. And so we can see that we've got, I've got some others in here. Coffee is the only one that I'm using this for actively currently, but we can see SMS test living there has no contacts in it um, currently. And then once those two things are set up, you need to set those up first before Zapier is going to work for you is you're going to log into Zapier. And um, if there's some thing that you use often, you can find it in here. So maybe you use um, convert kit for something, you know, you can do that. Uh, or you know, or you use some other thing for email marketing. You can connect those things and make them talk to each other. So, um, if you have any questions about that, ask a, a comment below because I'd be happy to walk through more of how we use it if anybody's interested in that sort of thing. Um, but we're gonna go to Make a Zap, and then as that's loading, it's gonna let us choose uh, what's the trigger. So we're gonna name this zap so we can see it on the back end. I'm going to call SMS test. And so we want a trigger to happen when somebody fills out what's going to kick this whole thing off when they fill out type form. So we're going to connect type form when there's a new entry. And we get to select which type form account we're using. And that's going to let us have options. We're going to be able to choose the form we have. If you forgot to create a form in type form, you can stop, go back and do that now, and then hit refresh fields, and it's going to go search your type form account again. Um, so I've already created that, so we have SMS test here, and we're going to hit continue. Now it's going to pull in a sample of the last things that were filled out there. It's going to make sure that it's pulling all that correct. So it says um, test successful. If you want to see what information it's pulling, it's pulling everything that's available from that last submission. So you can see that it's that email, it's got that cell number in there, um, which is good to go. So we're gonna hit continue. And now we can say, so once that form gets filled out, what do we want to have happen? So we want click send to create a new contact within click send. 
So you can do all sorts of things like you can automatically send someone a text message um, and I can show you how to do that if you want to. Um, but we're going to hit save and continue. Choose the account. Mine's already set up. And then we're going to set up the template of how do we want the information in type form to speak to ClickSend. So contact list, we're going to pick which contact list we want to populate. We picked SMS test. We are going to pick the first name. We didn't ask people for that. So anywhere that you see something is optional, that's fine. If you hit this um, insert a field drop down, it's going to give you an option of the data that was pulled from type form. So if you want people's names in there, which it's not entirely important, but if it's useful for you, you can add that form to type form if you'd like. So it gives you an option to add first name, last name. We don't have that. Phone number is something we definitely want. And so we're going to go to cell number. And so it's going to pull in that cell phone number's information. And we asked for an email, so we're going to make sure that it pulls in that email information as well. And then there's a bunch of other things that we can have populate addresses. You can use ClickSend to send um, automated direct mail. You can use it to send voicemails to people. You can use it for a bunch of different things. That's not what we're doing in here. This is just for text message marketing. And we're going to hit continue. So now we can see this is the information that is pulling through all of it. Um, we can see that the empty field, there's certain fields that are empty. We're going to send a test. So it's going to test to make sure that this integration is working properly and that it can all speak to each other. So this, uh, a test contact was sent to click send just now. And we're going to hit, let's go actually, I wonder if this populates that quickly. So let me see if I refresh this page. Let's see if we got, yep. So if we click on our SMS test list, we're going to see that I've got one person added, which is me. Very cool. Um, and now you can go back to Zapier since we're all good that we saw that worked. We're going to hit finish. And so we're going to make sure that we turn this on. And because we have different, um, we have different things that we're working on. So I have different folders that different um, zaps live inside of so I can find them quickly if I need to edit them. Um, so that's all we need to set that up. The other thing that you can do that's kind of cool. So let's say you wanted to build your list. You can add another action. So you can make it perform two actions if you want to. And that's not what we're talking about in this video, but just to let you know. So we use ConvertKit for our email marketing. Let's say I wanted to add a subscriber to a specific tag. Um, or if you want to if you use MailChimp, you can add a person to a list. You can hit set up. And so we can choose which tag we want to use. So I wonder what has nothing in it. Um, intro person. That's not even a thing. So we can pull that same email address from type form. And we can make sure that that's speaking to um, our email account as well. And so if we want to just send people one type form and get a lot of different information from them, we can kind of automatically send that into all of our different tools that we're using to speak to people. So it's a powerful way to, um, you know, handle that, get all of that going. So um, there's a, other ways that you can do this. We use Ninja Forms for our um, forms on our website, and that works. You can integrate Zapier with that as well. There's just a lot of different things that you can do um, because... We're not doing this. I'm going to delete this step. So if you delete it, it's going to ask you if you really want to delete it. Are you sure? And I'm going to hit, yeah, I'm really sure. So those are just, you just need to create a two-step zap. Um, as we're going through and testing this, those things will fire automatically. Zapier isn't running all the time. So I think if you're on a free account, it's running maybe every 30 or 60 minutes. So if somebody fills out a type form, it's not going to instantaneously fill up in your ClickSend account. Um, it will as we're going through these tests and setting this up, but it's not going to, um, I think it's a premium account. It runs every 15 minutes. You can pay more money for it to run every five minutes, things like that. So it's not, uh, it's not always exactly instant. Um, just in case you get really confused or sad because you saw somebody fill out the form, but then you're not seeing them in whatever you're trying to connect. So um, so that's all set up as we're in click send, I'm going to show you just how to send a text message to somebody. It's how simple it is. If you hit, um, SMS where you're going to hit send an SMS campaign and we're going to hit add a new campaign. And so now we're going to pick, uh, this is our diamond. Did I spell it wrong? Yeah. 
This is our diamond test. We're going to select a contact list. There we go. And um, now we can choose where to send it from. And these are some things that you'll want to uh, check out as you get this um, as you get this set up. I always just send from a shared number because that's the free and easy way to set those things up. Then you can just add what kind of information you would like in the text message. So um, check out a diamond membership or whatever you want it to be. And then you can throw your link in there. You can see a little preview of how it's going to format on a phone. Um, so we're going to go to wanderdam.com slash membership. So that's kind of a pretty URL. If you have something a little more ugly or long and it's taking up too many um, it's taking up too many uh, characters, you can add a short U short URL, enter it in there, and uh, it will shorten it for you. Um, and you can send now, which is cool. Or the other thing you can do is you can actually go and schedule all of that. So if you have a product launch or, you know, with my coffee business, I only um, – sell that a certain amount of time and I send text messages to people before I send an email to anybody. Um, and so, and I send an email to past customers before I send it to just people who are interested, but I've never bought before. So, um, you can kind of throttle who's getting those messages at what time and, and you can plan from, uh, through all of that. So, uh, people can reply to it and then talk through all of that. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I, I wanted to just show you a simple number of you have been asking about that. I flippantly mention it sometimes. And, uh, you know, if you're selling something online or if you have people who buy from you regularly, this is a nice way to communicate with them in just an easy, simple way. People look at their text messages easily um, and quickly and they can take action very quickly. Um, and so, yeah, I would love if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Hopefully this is helpful and uh, we'll chat soon. Peace.